all right guys we have made it to the end of the cyber introduction series this is the last chapter the last episode episode six and today we're going to be talking about 10 things you should look for in a cybersecurity solution. But before we get into this video, hi, welcome to my channel. I am the Digital Empress, your fave informant in the cybersecurity field. If you want to keep learning about the field and how to be the best in the field, you might want to subscribe. No, you should subscribe. You should subscribe. You should like, you should share my videos. If you know anybody else that wants to be amazing in this field, tell them to come to you, girl, okay? This chapter was a short one. It was basically just giving us 10 things and this is gonna be a very short video. It probably won't even be <laughs> three minutes long, but I'm basically gonna go through the 10 things that they suggested, 10 things you should look for. Ooh, my phone just glitched. So 10 things you guys should think about when you go in. These can be topics that you bring up in the meetings. Um, when your boss asks, what do you think you should implement? Anything that you feel like they're missing, any gaps, and you wanna go into further discussion about. Um, this can not only be brought up in security jobs, this can be brought up in help desk, this can be brought up in system administration. And you can create like a case study and, you know, uh, analysis report on what you think your job or your business's cybersecurity solution is missing and give them ways to fill in this gap, to prevent it, to prevent the risk. These are 10 things that I wish I knew um, or considered before going into most of my jobs because um, a lot of us going into new jobs, especially in IT and being young, you're still trying to gain experience on, you know, how IT infrastructure works, how the business IT infrastructure works, the specific business that you're at. And um, you want to go in and have talking points in the meetings. You want to be able to go and talk to your boss and other team members about how you can upgrade certain things on the network and make it more secure. And it just makes you look better and more passionate about your position because you're constantly finding things to upgrade and implement to make everything better and more evolved. So take these things and go through, study them and use them in your interviews. You know, you could, if it comes up about, you know, how to better, how do you think you should protect the organization in this matter or you know if this happens in an organization how would you go about handling it these can be topic points that you bring up in interviews or when you actually get the job you can use it as a baseline for your company's architecture and how to keep it at its best so i'm just gonna quickly go through these things these talking points these solutions and so we're gonna go through each of these and i'm gonna talk about some of the points uh, important points that I took down from the book about each and we're gonna go ahead and close this off and you guys can go and be great okay so the first thing you should look for in a security solution is enforcing allowed interactions between your data and users and this basically is reducing the number of attacks on your network and your data. The next thing you wanna look for in a cybersecurity solution is identifying threats everywhere and always. Okay, this is, could be another thing that you could do on the job. If you, you know, have any free time, you can always be looking for any gaps or any threats that you come across that the rest of the team may not notice. Point number three, Protect data at multiple stages in the attack life cycle. So every stage, there's six stages. If you're constantly making sure that you're protecting and implementing policies and procedures at each and training at each level, the less work you're gonna have to do and the less risks there are on the in the organization. Number four, outsmart threats designed to outmaneuver security tools. Applications being designed to outsmart firewalls pretty much and get around them 
or circumventors, applications that are designed to just go through or around our security solutions, you want to pay attention to that heavily. Number five, translate new intel into protections and security policies. So if you find any new threats on the network, any risk, any gaps, you may want to suggest creating a security policy around that. Like once you get it, you analyze it, you see how it's working. This could be a talk, talking topic in your meetings. You could, you know, bring up how you found this risk and how, what you should implement, what policy you should implement after discovering this new threat. Number six, get intel and protection against the latest attacks. Cybersecurity news websites is great for this. IPS is great for this if it finds like a type of malware that has a signature assigned to it that's, you know, been identified before. It may provide intel on what this malware do does already. Number seven, enable quick and accurate mitigation the quicker you get things mitigated the quicker you get things fixed the quicker you get things identified the faster it is to protect the organization and to slow down the threat so as soon as your security technologies inform you that something is wrong something is penetrating the network and trying to take it take it down the quicker you analyze it the quicker that you work through it the faster you can mitigate the risk number eight coordinate actions across individual security technology so all the security tools that you use you want to kind of get them to work together and the more they work together the better the protection of your organization is number nine keep your organization running all of the security tools that you implement Implement. you also want to make sure that they're running and they're running right so if it's taking any type of scanning it's gathering new intel it's quarantining things you want it to be working and be updated so that it doesn't have to keep doing this and it doesn't slow down you securing your network and number 10 one of my favorites because i don't like hard things unless it's gonna upgrade me somehow <laughs> be easy to use as a security professional you cannot take time to be doing hard things like you want as much automated as much as you can you can be doing heavy monitoring investigation and reporting you have to get things quick and you have to fix things quick oh my god the sunlight that is it <laughs> For this series, I hope you guys enjoyed. This book was awesome, but I need to get an updated book on cybersecurity. I will be taking the Ethical Hacker Hackers course very soon and telling you guys about that experience and going through that on here. Comment down below if you guys have learned anything from this video, anything new, or if you have any questions about what we discussed, or you wanna provide any other solutions that you think should be implemented. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. And I will see you guys in the next video.